Welcome to Hybus News. My name is Suresh Kochatel. The battle to combat COVID-19 or coronavirus has now reached a decisive phase. As more and more cities and towns across the country get into a shutdown mode, the governments of each of the states is also getting proactive in tracing out people who had recent history of international travel. What has been heartening is that the infections, that the active infections, have now stayed below the 500 mark and we hope it stays that way not going beyond 550 as of today evening. What is also more important to know is that more than 187,000 people are now under community surveillance and the government is tracking each and every one of them. What do we citizens then need to do? The main thing that we need to do is to respect the law and order authorities and ensure that we stay at home. Respect the law because the entire thing should not move into the kind of scene that we are seeing across the country where people came out onto the streets just a day after the Janata curfew was there. We need to ensure that we don't get into the stage 3 of this particular virus because that would mean a transmission across the community, what happened in Italy and other countries. This ladies and gentlemen is very important. No doubt we are not accustomed to being kept at home compulsorily, at least not for days together. But this is for our own safety and our own security. Prime Minister Modi will be addressing the nation today night and he will of course detail out more of what is happening on the fight against COVID-19. But what we need to understand, what we need to appreciate is what the governments are trying to do. There are many states where the problem has increased manifold. For example, Maharashtra and Kerala are now having more than 90 infections each and that is a worrying factor. But even those state governments are now put a total clamp down, ensuring that people don't keep moving in mass transit systems. Trains and buses are already on a lockdown mode, are not operating at all. And today night, even domestic flights will stop. Remember, three days ago, the international flights stopped operating. And from there on, we should look at anybody who arrived in India plus 14 days, which means somewhere around the April 6th or 7th, we should hopefully see a flattening of the curve. That is what happened in many countries which succeeded like South Korea. But it will not happen without the cooperation of each and every one of you. We need to ensure that we have an element of discipline. Let the authorities do their work. Don't get onto the roads unless it's needed. Don't get into a panic buying mode. The world is not ending tomorrow. And definitely respect what announcements are made by the authorities. Because as Indians, we lack a lot of discipline. We are not accustomed to being told what to do. And we don't like being told what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, please appreciate that this is a major fight that we have on hand. This is not like what we have seen anything before. Let's not make the mistakes which Italy and other countries did. Let us fight for our survival. Let respect the state and the central governments about the steps they are taking. Jai Hind.